All right, so I've got a quiz that kind of works. It, it doesn't know how to finish, so when I get to the, the third question and try to go to the next, it just it breaks my program. And, and you'll notice also my picture is not changing as, as the quiz, quiz goes by. Okay, so we've got to work on, on these things. First thing I'm going to do is not worry about the picture, but I want to make it so I, the quiz, when it gets to the end and they click next, it'll go back to the first thing. Okay, to do that, we're going to use an if statement. All right. I'm going to drag an if out from control, and I'm going to put it right below my um, when I change my index. And kind of what I want to do is, when this index gets too big, I want to set it back to, to 1. Okay, so the if block lets me kind of ask questions, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask um, something about the index, right? I want to know if the index is greater, in this case, than 3. Okay? So I'm going to go to math and grab a greater than sign. And of course, I could just type this in as, as well, but let's see. Oh, sorry. I'll grab this equals sign, and then I can just change it to greater than. So it's another kind of block modifier that you can do. So I've got, if my index is greater than, and I'm going to grab a 3. I'm just going to type this one in, so I'm going to type a 3. There it is. And if my index is greater than 3, I want to set it back to 1 before I kind of go get the question. So I'm going to go grab this block and copy it, Command C, Command V. And I'm going to put that in my if, but I don't want this whole thing. I just want to put 1 there. So let's just kind of imagine this scenario. The, the user's on the last question. Uh, let's bring our phone back here. So the user's on the last question. They click next again. Our index becomes 4, right? And we ask if the index is greater than 3. Well, it is. And if that's so, set it back to 1 and then grab the first question. So I think after the third question, it should go back to the, to the first question. All right, let's, let's try this out. And let's go ahead and restart our companion um, just, to, just to start from, the, from index equals 1, right? So I'm going to go ahead and choose AI Companion, and I'm going to stop my Companion, restart it. Okay, there it is. Then I'll scan QR code, and I should get my app up in its starting uh, situation. Okay, there it's loading. All right, so now let's try this out. The first question is appearing. That's good. And let me just make sure you can see this, okay? When I click Next, the second question comes up, the one about China. When I click Next, the third question comes up. Okay, If I click Next, I'm hoping it's going to go back to the Roosevelt question, the one about the New Deal. Let's see. And it did, yeah. Okay, so I think we've got this working pretty good. Okay, so we're now kind of looping through all the, all the questions of the quiz. And, and so, so, you know, at least our behavior is working kind of like we, we want it. But I do want to mention one thing here. This three, it's okay, it works for this quiz, but if I added another question here, it, it wouldn't be correct, right? And once again, we kind of need to think more abstractly, or at least to, to make abstract references as opposed to fixed ones, right? So this assumes that I have three questions, and you know we might want to change this quiz to have 20 questions, who knows? So I'm going to get rid of this three, and there's actually a nice block in the list drawer called um, link of list. And we know that the length of our current list is 3, but we can just kind of make it so no matter how many things are on that list, it'll, it'll still work. And so anyway, this will this will still give us the same behavior. I'm going to go ahead and click Next still and see, and you'll notice it's still looping through our questions. Okay, cool. So that's the first part. The next thing we need to do is, is worry about those images changing. So our questions are changing but we want our images to change as, as well. And I'm going to define another variable. And I'm going to call this variable uh, my pick list, or my picture list. Okay, and really kind of what I want to put in here is not um, a bunch of text. So actually, I don't know why I copy pasted that, but it should work okay. I'm going to get rid of these text blocks. So I don't want text blocks. Um, well, I do want text blocks, but I'm not going to put the actual questions I'm going to put the names of the, of the pictures. Okay, and this gets a little tricky because I'm going to go back to the designer and show you. 
What I want are the file names of these pictures. For instance, for instance uh, rooschurch.gif is what I want for the, for the first one. So I'm going to go to my blocks again, and what I'm going to put here is rooschurch.gif. Okay, let's just go make sure, because you want these to be exact or it's not going to work. So rooschurch.gif, that looks right. And in my blocks, I've got Ruse Church. Nope, I better spell this correctly. Okay, typo. Okay, that little typo would have screwed up my program. Okay, so um, I'm gonna, I'll pause here, then I'll add the other ones, and then we'll, we'll come back. So I've added the three, uh, three files in for my list. So I now have this new list called Picture List, which has a name of my three uh, picture files. Okay. And notice these picture files, the first one matches up with the first question, second one, second one, third one, third one. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. But we need to make sure I actually change the image component when the user clicks next. So just like I changed the text, I need to change this image component. So I'm going to go over to question image, and I'm going to find the set um, picture property. Okay, so I want to set my image picture. Once again, I want to select a list item, all right? But be careful, I don't want to select from the question list, I want to select from the picture list. Okay, my index is the same, right? Because these guys are kind of in sync. When I'm on one, when index is one, I want to grab the first picture and the first text. All right, let's try this out. I'm going to click next here, and it looks like our pictures are going to change for us. Okay, cool. We've, we're actually getting something that looks almost like a quiz. Well, at least we're, right now what we have is, you know, uh, uh, if you had a bunch of pictures, you just wanted to allow a user to scroll through them. We, we, we have that, right? So you've got an app. Next thing we'll do is, is add some extra code to allow the user to actually try to answer these questions.